What's up guys, Jeremy here from MTG Headquarters bringing you an unboxing of an M13 intro pack called Soul Domination. Uh, this is a uh, white and black deck. Um, and as you know with the intro packs you get kind of like a, a good start to a deck and then actually now a couple boosters which is awesome. And so to read the uh, back it says Choose a single fearsome attacker to lead the charge in this deck filled with exalted creatures led by the legendary demon Nerf, or, uh, Nefrox, Nefrox uh, over, <laughs> Overlord of Grixis. Gri Grixis, yeah. Um, your other forces lend support and defense ready for their turn to lead the attack. So this is, again, we can tell that, that it's going to be taking advantage of the... Uh, the uh, creature like exalted uh, ability that allows kind of uh, creatures to get pumped for every other creature when they attack alone. So I'll take out that and then our two boosters and our junk. It's not junk, but if you've read it once, you don't need to read it every single time you open it. So let's go through this first. We've got uh, Nefarox right on the front. Again, my pronunciation, you know, I try my best. <laughs> sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. Um, this is a six drop for a five, five flyer that's exalted. So whenever a creature attacks alone, that creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. So if you have five other exalted creatures and this, and you only attack with him, He's a 10-10. Make sense? Okay. So, uh, and also, whenever he, um, he attacks alone, defending player sacrifices a creature. It's pretty awesome. <clears throat> We've got, <coughs> excuse me, Duty Bound Dead. Tormented Soul, one drop for a 1-1. One, one. It can't block and is unblockable. War Clamp Mastiff. This is a one drop for a 1-1 one, one with first strike. Knight of Infamy, 2 drop for 2-1 that has protection from white and is also exalted. Walking Corpse. Even Squire, this is a 1-1 one, one flying with exalted. Again, these all, imagine these all in your kind of back line, pumping up whatever you choose to attack with. Knight of Glory, 2 drop, that's exalted, protection from black. Servant of Nephrox, Nephrox. Um, so yeah, she works for him. <laughs> Uh, she's uh, exalted, 1-1. One, one. Guardians of uh, Akrasa. Take a guess at that. That's an 0-4. Uh, Vampire Nighthawk, 3 drop for 2-3 flyer. Blood, Hunt, Blood Hunter Bat, 4 drop for 2-2 two, two flying. I actually, um, this is not a bad card because whenever it enters the battlefield, target player loses 2 life and you gain 2 life. Dusk Mantle Prowler. Liliana Shade. This is a 4 drop for a 1-1, one, one, but it's pumpable. Veilborn Ghoul. Zombie Goliath. Here's a hidden rare in here. Um, Zathrid Gorgon. Gorgon. Um, this is a 6 drop for a 3-6, but it has Death Touch and also the ability to uh, play the cost, tap, and you can put a Petrification counter on target creature. It gains Defender and becomes a colorless artifact in addition to other types. Its activated abilities cannot be activated. It's a pretty nuisance, problematic card there. Cut through the land, and then we get our like sidebar cards back here. Ring of Zothrid. Pacifism. So it's a great card. Just basically, you don't have to kill a creature. You can just make it do nothing. Cower and Fear. Um, creatures your opponent controls get 1-1 one, one till end of turn. It's a 3-drop, but man, if they have tokens, you can really wipe the board. Murder, 3-drop, destroy target creature. Basic, basic. Blood Reckoning, 4-drop. Whenever a creature attacks you or a planeswalker you control, that creature's controller loses one life. <laughs> Love it. Mark of the Vampire and Angelic Benediction. Not a bad little deck. Now let's get on to the boosters. Hopefully we can find something in here that will help this deck out, but 
maybe not. Maybe it'll help out my collection instead. Here we've got a foily crater eyes. And our rare, ooh, a mythic rare. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Akroma's Memorial. This is a seven drop. Creatures you control have flying. First strike, vigilance, trample, haste, and protection from black and red. <laughs> Not a bad little card. Not a bad card to get in an intro pack. Uh, not bad at all. Always like to see it. you have a mythic pull. No matter what, no matter what it's coming out of. If you know what I'm saying. So, oh, ah, oh, no foily. Oh, wow, a mythic rare and a planeswalker. This is a killer intro pack. What do you guys think? <laughs> so we got two mythics in the intro pack. Shahandra, the Firebrand, uh, we know her. This is the, her plus one ability, deals one damage to target creature or player. Her minus two, when you cast your next instant or sorcery spell this turn, copy that spell. You may, you may choose new targets. And her final ability, um, she deals six damage to each of up to six target creatures and or players. Wow. This might be the best intro pack I ever opened. Cool. I'm glad I got to do that on camera because that that was pretty sweet. I mean, not not you know not like back to back planeswalkers or something, but pretty sweet. So that is the Soul Domination intro pack from M13, the new core set from Magic: The Gathering. If you have any questions, make sure you post them up on down below. And if you don't mind, help yourself by crushing that subscribe and like button for us. And we'll keep the videos coming out as long as you guys keep liking them. So thanks, and uh, we'll talk to you real soon.